Hello YouTube, I wanted to expand on what I said yesterday. Um, the, the second thing I said was uh, that rational thinking was the single most important thing to a rational being. And I wanted to expand upon that, uh, first reward it a little bit, uh, that the most important thing to a rational being is reason. Uh, within reason, uh, Critical thinking has to top the list uh, with the ability to the ability and willingness to say you're wrong when you're wrong. Um, maybe that's not part of the critical thinking, but it should be. Um, but I wanted to expand upon that because yeesh, uh, I, I did want to say that I was presenting that kind of as a belief, but a reasoned belief in a way. Um, but also something that I, I, I did think about, uh, even though I said in there kind of jokingly, think about it. And, but I was kind of being serious in the same, at the same time when I said, when I said it, because I, I really do think that reasoning, uh, uh, rational, or the ability to reason is uh, one of the most important things we have. Because without that ability to reason, then, we don't even have the ability to ins assign importance to something. Uh, we just exist. Um, now, you can argue that uh, our emotions, because we're emotional beings as well, are uh, a good factor, uh, or that our lives are, are, are the most important thing, or that are your family, uh, the species, survival of the species, but all of that, to do it, for one, to do it effectively, uh, you would, uh, as, you know, as we do in our society, as far as I can tell right now, is done effectively through reasoning. Our society wouldn't even exist without that, as a matter of fact, but it has become the most important thing uh, to us. And in a way, we don't even realize uh, how important it really is. Uh, I'm not saying that it's it's important to the the sense that we should go kill somebody over it. Um, obviously, because wouldn't you have to think about that first? Uh, but but our rational ability uh, also uh, we can't think all the time, and we're very very limited. On, on what or how much we can think. That was kind of the, the point of the first part. Um, but not just as ourselves, but as a species, uh, can we ever truly know that we know everything? Or can we ever truly know everything? And that was kind of arguing that no, no we can't. But it's even more so on an individual level because our minds which are completely dependent on our thoughts, which are completely dependent on our brain and our, li our, our well-being and our livelihood, which is dependent on our well-being and livelihood, uh, is, oh, our minds are very, very limited. Uh, they're, one, they're finite, and uh, obviously people have different ideas, but there's no reason to think otherwise. Uh, if you have any proof otherwise, then do tell. Uh, but our finite minds uh, also have a finite ability of what we can hold. Uh, scientists, science has helped us a lot because they can condense the knowledge down and compress the knowledge more. So that helps us out a lot because trying to hold all this individual data is going to take too much space in our brain. And it's a lot. Just get on my shoulder. It's a lot less to hold uh, when we just know how things work rather than the individual data. Obviously, we can still go through and uh, come to those conclusions ourselves, but that would take a long time. And but people still do it, and that's good. Um, it's good for for individuals and uh, the society in itself to critique itself all the time. This is one of the things in, 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 in reasoning, in critical thinking. Um, and we are critiquing ourselves all the time. Uh, in, 
in silly ways sometimes, but we are. We, we, we're constantly critiquing ourselves. And I would like to say that that is, you know, reasoning in and of itself is the most important thing uh, to us. And, and not reasoning in a bubble, uh, you know, because I could just sit here and uh, think all day long. And sooner or later, without uh, external data, it's going to be incorrect because it doesn't have enough data. So reasoning is kind of dependent on the data. Oh, come here. Bird, 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 bird. There we go. Okay, reasoning itself is kind of dependent on the data. You, you, you. Yeah, what is that, huh? Um, so I kind of lost my train of thought. But I, I was kind of serious, uh, kind of serious and kind of, you just shat on me, didn't you? I was kind of being serious and I, and I was kind of joking as well. But uh, that part I was a little bit serious about. And when you put anything else above that, then, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, I, I don't see any way to put anything above that. Because our ability to even find importance in and of itself is important, is, is one of the most important things in a way. So I wanted to argue that a little bit, but maybe, I won't, maybe I'll never get an argument to that, who knows. Maybe I'll just play with the bird. Play with the bird. Play with the bird. The bird. There we go. Ugly bird. Ugly bird.